Hi everybody, this is Technoli, and today we've got a really exciting build. This is a Hackintosh AMD Open Core. So this is so easy, it's like installing Windows. We've got a Gigabyte B450M DS3H. And here she is. Nice motherboard. We are using a Sapphire Pulse, Radeon, RX 580 with eight gigabytes of RAM. And right now I've just got an external SSD hooked up. Now what's cool about this, I've installed both Catalina and Mojave on this and you use the same EFI folder. Your choice, simple to do. We're gonna do a complete install, showing you how to make the USB drive and all the details. Let's get started. Okay guys, so here's, we're gonna need uh, Clover Configurator. This is the EFI folder that is in down below in the description that you can download. I'm gonna show you how to do everything on this one, okay? And we're also gonna run Cinebench and Geekbench 5. So first of all, you're gonna need just a blank 16 gigabyte USB drive, okay? So let's put it in and we're gonna format it. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna go ahead and go to Utilities. Disk Utility. And right here is my thumb drive, SanDisk. Click Erase, and I'm gonna name it USB. And we'll leave this Mac OS Extended Journal GUID Partition Map, and click Erase. Okay. So we'll go out of here. All right, so there is our drive. Now we'll go to the internet and we'll type in how to create a U or a Mac OS USB installer. There we go. And you'll see this web page. It's the first one that comes up for Apple. And we're going to go down, we're installing Catalina, so we want this line of text, okay? So just copy that, and then we'll go over here to Terminal, Terminal, all right? And now we want to paste that line of text we just copied, but we're going to change my volume to USB because that's what we named our thumb drive. Hit enter, put in your password, and then say yes. And this will go across here until it gets to 100%. And then when it's done, we're ready to go to the next step. Okay. So once we're done with that, here's our USB thumb drive with our Catalina on it. And now what we want to do is just take Clover, and we need to open the EFI partition on the thumb drive. So we'll click Mount EFI, and we want to go here to our installer, Mount, put in your password, and there is the EFI partition. Now what we need to do is copy the EFI folder that you downloaded below in the description of this video, copy it and put it into here. All right, that is it, you are done. So now let's go ahead and eject out of here. All right, so now we're ready to boot, but first, I'm going to show you a couple of benchmarks. So I've got Cinebench here. We'll click Run. 
And as soon as it is finished, I'll come back and we'll see the results, okay? Okay guys, we're coming down here to the end. And let's see what we get on this one. Okay, I've got 2726. That is amazing. That is faster than the $750 Intel system that I showed you guys. And this one's a lot less money. All right, let's go ahead and run Geekbench 5. And here we go. I'll come back when this is done. Okay, guys, we're coming down to the end on this test. Let's see where we end up. All right. 1017, single core, 5428 on multi-core. All right. And we compare that to some other ones here. Let's see. Let's go here. Mac benchmarks. Okay, so we had, let's go back. We had 1017, right? Okay. So we had 1017. So let's go down here. Here's a 1017. Mac Mini, late 2018 is a 1017. Look at this, 27 inch iMac, 2019. We're running the same speed as these computers that cost a lot more money. All right, now you all know, if you've watched my other videos, we have to go into the BIOS and make sure we have everything on this motherboard set up right for it to work for a Hackintosh. So let's go ahead and restart and start tapping that delete key to get into the BIOS. Okay, so really on here, all we have to do is go over to BIOS. Just use your arrow keys, right? And I've got right now, you've got UEFI OS. It's booting now from the Pony SSD drive, which is fine because we're gonna use the F12 key on this to boot. So we don't need to worry about this. Fast boot, we want disabled. CSM support enabled. Everything just like it shows right here, folks. Just go through, pause the video, and make sure your bias is set up the same as this page. Peripherals, just like here. We've got PCIe as our first display port because we're using the RX 580. Down here, Super I.O. configuration. We disabled the serial port. USB configuration. You can leave it just like this. MVME. I don't have one plugged in right now, so we don't need to worry about it. Network stack disabled. AMD. CBS, just like you see it here, this is all default. And of course, that's our controller. That's fine. Under chipset, go ahead and disable the first, the IO. Go ahead and disable that. You've got to have SATA mode on AHCI. So everything else, just the way you see it here, guys, okay? Go over to power. You can leave it to default. And then this is simple. We just save and exit. Now we've got our USB that we just formatted, right? We've got it plugged in to a USB port and we're ready to go. Now start tapping that F12 key to get to the boot menu. If you have a new hard drive with nothing on it, you don't have to worry about hitting the F12 key because it'll just boot from the USB. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here and just select the UEFI SanDisk, right there. Okay, once we get here, we wanna go down, use the arrow keys, down to install macOS Catalina external, which means that's our external thumb drive, and just hit enter. And this will go across, it's not gonna give you any verbose screen, but it will go across without any errors or any complications. 
And as soon as we get at the end, we will continue the video. Okay guys, so it'll look like it's gonna reboot, but just hang with it. It's coming up to the next screen. And there, it'll continue like this. Now please, please guys, please subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications. Hit that bell so you can get notifications on our next videos. It really helps out the channel. I appreciate it. Okay, once we get up here, we can continue. All right. We always love when we get to these screens, don't we? Okay. If you've watched any of my previous videos on Hackintoshes, you'll know what to do. But anyways, we're gonna click on Disk Utility. Continue. We need to make sure we have Show All Devices. This is our SATA drive, so we're going to erase it. And you can call it whatever you like. I'm gonna call it Cat Open Core just for fun. And we're going to change this to APFS and we're going to leave it on GUID partition map. Click erase. All right. Click done on there and then install Mac OS. And it's just this simple. Agree, agree, Select the hard drive we're going to install it on. Click install. It says about seven minutes remaining. So we'll come back when this starts to reboot. Okay, so it gets to about two minutes and then it reboots on its own. So don't worry about that. Leave your USB stick in there and you don't have to go to the boot menu or anything. It'll come up automatically. And we're coming up right here. Okay, so now we just choose our, where it says Mac installer. So we'll just leave it right there by default. Hit enter. Okay, then it will do this little funky little screen change and then it'll continue like this. So it's okay. It's not rebooting on its own or anything. Okay, and then it's going to be continuing to, to install. It says right now about 11 minutes remaining, 10 minutes remaining, but it's going pretty quick. So just hang in there and we get to the end of this, we'll continue. Okay, so it says less than a minute remaining. So once we get here, we're just waiting for the next screen so we can finish up with the install. All right. Now it's rebooting one more time. And we'll just let it do its thing. And you can see right there, cat open cores where it's gonna boot from. So of course it's booting from our hard drive. Now if you're wondering what open core means, it's a different type of bootloader, kind of like Clover Configurator. It's very complicated. Uh, we will get into it later of how to set it up. But uh, for this particular build, it was just so easy to use. And you should be able to use this same EFI folder for any AMD Ryzen's. Okay, so now we are getting toward the end. Now I do have my internet connected, so we'll see if it picks it up. Go ahead and pick our country. And you can customize these settings if you want. Go through it. Don't want to transfer any information. I'm not going to sign into my Apple ID. We'll skip this. We can agree to our terms and conditions. And then we're going to name it. I'm just going to name it a Mac. 
put in a password, click continue, okay here just set up our services that we want, I'll set this up later, and we're going to use Siri. We'll choose dark mode. Now all the text and everything are in this folder. So once you get here, sound will work. The graphics will work. Go ahead and identify our keyboard. Internet will work. We'll go ahead and click on the internet. As you can see, we're good to go. And uh, we'll go here to audio sound and here it is it's using our monitor speakers okay now we have one final thing to do if you remember we need to have clover configurator so i stuck it on another usb so i could grab it put it out here or you can just download it from the internet Okay, now what we have to do is, this is our bootloader with the EFI folder in its own partition, and we have to get to that hidden partition, so we use Clover to see our hidden partition. So we're going to mount EFI, and go over here, we need to find our, this is our hard drive, so we need to find our USB, mount, put in our password, open partition, and there is the EFI folder that I'm looking for. Now this is the original folder that you downloaded from the internet and it's on your USB EFI partition. We need to put it on the hard drive now so we can boot without a USB. So we're going to mount the hard drive EFI partition, open it, and there's nothing in there. So we need to copy this one from the USB hidden folder to the hard drive EFI hidden folder, hidden partition. Okay, we'll close out of here and let's restart. And we can just let it boot up normally. We don't have to go into the boot menu. And when it comes up, you'll see that it's going to boot from our cat open core and you can either let it go itself or hit enter. Now it's booting without the USB. And there we go. Okay, put in our password. And this Hackintosh is done. Yay, yay, yay. Go over here to the internet. I always like to go to a YouTube video. Just to play something real quick. This was a lot of fun. It was easy. Uh, I couldn't believe how easy it was. If you enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.